And Senate Republicans announced plans to vote on President Trump's plan to end the shutdown. As CBS 17's Mark Meredith reports, Democrats say they're willing to negotiate with the president, but only after the government is reopened. It's a great day. It's a beautiful day. The president and vice president braved below freezing temperatures to visit the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial. The president did not discuss the government shutdown during the brief trip to the monument for Dr. King. As we speak, our government is shut down for one reason, so that the president of the United States can fund a monument to hate and division along our southern border. Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts was one of a chorus of Democrats condemning the president's weekend offer to reopen the government if they agree to build the border wall. The president is promising Democrats he'll agree to sign a bill that would provide some illegal immigrants temporary protection from deportation if Democrats agree to spend $5.7 billion for the wall. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer calls it a non-starter. Mr. President, open up the government, and then Democrats and Republicans can have a civil discussion and come up with bipartisan solutions. While Schumer is a no, the White House only needs seven Democrats to vote yes to move the bill forward in the Senate. Democrat Joe Manchin of West Virginia says he's undecided on the proposal. In the House, Democrats say they'll spend the week focused on border security, including spending money on technology to better scan cars at checkpoints for drugs. However, the bill would not spend any money to build a wall between the U.S. and Mexico. In Washington, Mark Meredith, CBS 17 news.